One of the most exciting things about life is when we have the knowledge of the will of God. One of the most exciting things about life is when you receive the knowledge of the will of God. The knowledge of what God is able to do. When you know what God is able to do, there is no limit to what you can receive. I said, when you know what God is able to do, there is no limit to what you can receive. If I, if I truly want to make progress with my life, the first step is to know what God is able to do. What it has to do with your finance, it has to do with your job, it has to do with your relationship. God is able to fix your dreams. He's able to help you rise from obscurity to influence. He's able to help you become successful and become a person of positive influence. So today we're looking at faith for supernatural success. And success is the will of God. This is one of the key things we need to have the knowledge of that. Success is the will of God that God wants me to be successful. God wants you to be successful. God wants you to be a person of influence. But you can't truly be a person of influence when you're ignorant of what God's word have said. When a person is ignorant of what the word of God teach concerning their life, concerning their calling, concerning their destiny, they cannot be successful. So one of the keys to becoming successful, being a person who is going to experience success, is Knowing the truth of God's word. It has power to change your situation. The word of God has the ability to break limitation. God's word have all it takes to empower you to produce great results. If I want to see great results, the key to that great result is God's word. In Joshua chapter 1, Verse 8, Joshua, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. And look at what the word of God said. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of the law that the word of God is given to us to empower us to think according to the will of God. One of the keys to thinking according to God's will is to have the knowledge of his word. You see, I can't truly think according to the will of God if I'm ignorant of God's word. When a person is ignorant of the word of God, their faith cannot be productive, their faith cannot be effective, and their faith cannot be successful. You know, so Joshua 1 verse 8 said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written during. So if I want to have the faith for supernatural success, one of the key foundation is the foundation of meditation meditating on God's word. This is a strategic law in transforming your life, in empowering your future, in moving your life to a greater height. The law of meditating on the word of God. What happens when a person begins to meditate on God's word? That word empowers you to see things from God's perspective. We, we can truly see things from God's perspective, and God's perspective is the perspective of victory, is the perspective of dominion, is the perspective of success. So if I'm going to have the supernatural faith to produce the God kind of result, then hearing God's word is important. This is why we brought you this broadcast that you can hear the word of God as you can decide the future that you want to experience. What quality of life do you want to have? What quality of future do you want to experience in the next five years, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, in the next 25 years? We have the potential to decide our destiny. 
We have the potential to produce greater things. So hearing the word of God is what empowers you to think according to the will of God. What empowers you to think according to the will of God. You see, there is God's way of doing things. It comes from the knowledge of his word. I want to say that again. I said there is God's way of doing things. It comes from the knowledge of his word. Now, without the knowledge of his word, I can be productive. I can be effective. I'll be limited by my experience, by the situation, or by the circumstances around me but when I have the knowledge of his word I make progress in the right direction so faith for supernatural success so the key is meditating on God's word the purpose of meditating on God's word is to do the application of the word the reason why we have to meditate on the word of God is that we can do application of God's word and it's through the application of the word that will change situation. How are we going to change our situation? It's through the application of God's word. It's through the application of God's word that we experience supernatural transformation. So if a person wants to see supernatural success, they have to be committed to God's word in their thinking, in their conversation, in their action, in their lifestyle, you got to just be committed to the word of God because this is the key to your success in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, the, the word of the Lord came unto Josh, uh, sorry, uh, unto Moses. The word of the Lord, Moses started sharing the word of God. He said to the people of God, he said, if you can hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, he said, he will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. If you can hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, he said, he's going to set you on high. You know, that is so important that we begin to understand that obedience is strategic when it comes to experiencing supernatural success. Your ability to obey God, your ability to respond to his word, to make his way of doing things your focus. He said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. What makes us free is the truth of God's word. He said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. It is the word of God that guarantees the freedom. It is God's word that brings the empowerment, that brings the transformation, that brings the healing, that brings the deliverance, that brings the change you're looking for. The change you're looking for is already in God's word. In your relationship, we can move from a bad relationship to a good relationship. We can move from poverty to prosperity. We can move from sickness and disease to healing when we begin to meditate on the word of God. When you start meditating on God's word, it empowers you to release your faith in the right direction. One of the ways we're going to release our faith in the right direction is when we start meditating on the word of God. There are so many people today that wish they could make a difference with their life. They could make a difference with their dreams. But the key to making the difference is in God's word. The key to changing your life is in the word of God. And I believe that you can make progress with your gifting. You can make progress with your life. You can make progress with your destiny. You can go from one dimension of success to another when you choose God's ways of doing things. It is is, is possible. Your success is possible. Your your increase is possible and we can experience increase. We can experience transformation and all things are possible to a man who is going to meditate on the word of God, to a man who is going to allow God's word to change his way of thinking. In Romans chapter 12 verse 2, the scripture established in Romans 12 verse 2, he said, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He said, don't be conformed to this world. Then he said, be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. The condition of your mind is going to determine the quality of life you're going to have. The condition of your mind. So how you think reflects where you are going to. 
How you think reflects your future. But if your thinking emanates from the knowledge of God's word, nothing can be impossible to you. How you think comes from, you know, it comes from your exposure also. Whatever you expose to determines what you think. I want to say that again. I said, whatever you are exposed to determines what you think. What you think as a person. What you think in your relationship. What you think concerning your business, concerning your calling, concerning your job is as a result of what you are exposed to. So it is important that God's word should determine your exposure. Your exposure should come from the word of God, that the word, the knowledge of God's word. What the word of God teach concerning my life? What does God's word teach concerning my dreams, concerning my vision, concerning my assignment? So the word of God is going to determine how I look at life. I'm not going to look at life as for me, life not being good. No, no, I'm going to look at life from the perspective of who I am in Christ Jesus. This is how to win in life and you can go from one level of success to another when you choose God's word and see the word of God as your final authority. Whether it has to do with your job, it has to do with your career, it has to do with your business. You have to see the word of God as your final authority and this is how you reign in life and, and this is how you, you, you win in life when God's word becomes your final authority. That is the key to developing your faith. You know, the scripture established in Romans ten seventeen. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, he said, So then, he said, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So if you want to experience supernatural success, hearing the word of God is important. Meditating on God's word is important. And doing the word of God is important. These are the strategic key. Hearing the word of God, meditating on God's word, and Doing the word of God. This is very important if you're going to see success in your life. If you're going to see success in your vision. If you're going to see success in your life. It's so important that you begin to listen to the word of God. You begin to meditate on God's word. You begin to apply the word of God to your health. Apply it to your job. Apply. This is the key to all around success in Psalm 71 uh, verse 21. Psalm 71 verse 21 it said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side one of the keys to increasing our greatness is when we do the application of God's word the application of God's word is so important if you're going to succeed in life the application of the word of God is important becoming a doer of the word this is how you you overcome demonic conspiracy this is how you overcome witchcraft this is how you overcome opposition the storms of life the challenges of life what people could consider as affliction as challenges as storms of life when we renew our mind with the word of God we have the right platform to decide our future when we renew our mind with God's word so it is important that you make the word of God your final authority and this is the key this is the key to effective living anyone that want to see an effective life a, a great life a, a beautiful life you have to put the word of God first so Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 he said this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night. You know, in the course of meditation, Joshua will come into revelation, which is important in transforming his life. In the course of meditation, Joshua is going to come into revelation, which is important because when we have revelation, it empowers us to focus on God. Revelation is so important if you're going to increase in your spiritual boldness, if you're going to be a person of great strength, you need revelation knowledge. You need revelation knowledge. Why do I need revelation knowledge? Because it empowers, because it strengthens, because it enables you to make progress in the right direction. So God gives you revelation as you can be effective in your purpose. That's why God is going to give you revelation. That's why God is saying to us today, meditate on my word. Make my word your foundation. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with right now. 
in your job, in your business, in your relationship, there is a possibility of success. There is a possibility of greatness. There is a possibility that you can break free from limitation. You, you can break free from the challenges of life. You can break free from the storm of life. When you begin to have the revelation of the will of God, you can break free. You, you, can, you can rise above the, the storms of life, the challenges of life, whatever the challenges may be, the word of God secures the future. It gives you direction. It gives you hope. It gives you life. It gives you strength. And there is someone watching today and God will have me say this to you. Your success will begin when you make his word your final authority. When you make God's word your final authority and say, God, I'm going to live by your word. I'm going to trust your word concerning my finances. I'm going to trust your word concerning my future. I'm going to trust your word concerning my dreams. I'm going to trust your word concerning my destiny. When you get to a point in your life where all you do is to trust the word of God, there is no limit to your possibilities. There is no limit to your greatness. There is no limit to your future. When you begin to trust the word of God above your in our lives, so we need to become people who are addicted to the truth. But you can be addicted to God's word. And this is the key to effective living to a productive life. So if I want to in productive life, God's word must take the lead. This is the key to supernatural success. This is the key. Our world is going to be a better place when people begin to make the word of God their final authority. There will be no violence anymore. I'm telling you, if everyone on the face of the earth today will say, Jesus, come into my life. I, I want to live according to your word. We are going to have the most beautiful world. You know why? Because violence is as a result of the enemy taking advantage of someone's mind who refused to yield themselves to God's ways of doing things. And this is why you see violence. This is why you see violence. Sometimes you see violence because there are people who refuse to yield themselves to God and the enemy takes advantage and God doesn't want it that way. He wants you to be successful. He wants you to be successful in everything you do. Another key to supernatural success is the key of obedience. You must be quick to obey God Follow his word. What is God telling you right now? What is the plan of God for your life? What is God saying to you concerning your vision, concerning your future, concerning your destiny? Whatever God is saying to you is important in empowering your future. One of the ways we empower our future is to know what God has said to us. This is the key. One of the ways you empower your future is to know what God's word has said because the knowledge of his word will give it the platform to make a difference. So obedience is important. If you look at Genesis chapter 12, in Genesis chapter 12, the word of the Lord came to Abraham and said, leave your father's house to a land I will show you. When Abraham received that instruction, he became very strategic to his vision because he was going to get to his destination by responding to God's word and by walking in obedience. Because when you walk in obedience, great things begin to happen. One of the ways we see great things is when we begin to walk in obedience. Because walking in obedience opens the door for supernatural assistance. One of the ways we are going to see supernatural assistance is when we walk in obedience. It's when we walk in obedience. So walking in obedience empowers you to come into supernatural success. So when the word of the Lord came to Abraham and said, Leave your father's house to a land I will show you, that was the blueprint for his future. Can I say this to you? It doesn't matter the situation around you. Success is possible. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Success is possible. It doesn't matter the challenges you have when we choose God's ways of doing things. This is how we come into supernatural success. When we choose God's way of doing things, you're not going to allow your emotion to betray your dreams. You're not going to allow how you feel to stop you from being who God. God wants you to be who God wants 
to, to be is greater than what you're going through right now, is greater than what the experience you're having right now, because God wants you to be successful. <laughs> he wants you to be successful, and success is possible. So obedience is strategic in, in coming into a place of supernatural success. The next key we're going to come into supernatural success in the next key if we're going to come into supernatural success is when we choose to exalt wisdom above foolishness when we choose to exalt wisdom you see wisdom is important wisdom is so important when it comes to coming into supernatural success wisdom is important when a person is walking in wisdom, they can make progress with the gift of life. When a person is walking in wisdom, they can make progress with the gift of life. So wisdom is important if you're going to unlock your dreams, if you're going to make progress with your life. Wisdom is important. Now, wisdom is going to help us to make the right decision. Wisdom is the reason why we can make decisions that can secure our dreams, decisions that can secure our vision, decisions that can secure our destiny. So we, we, we make the right decision when we choose to walk in wisdom. So wisdom is important when it comes to experiencing supernatural success. And Christ, Christ has been made unto us the wisdom of God. Christ has been made unto us the wisdom of God. So you have wisdom. If you have Christ in you, you have wisdom already. If you have Christ in you, you have what it takes to excel in life. You have what it takes to, to win in life, to become a person of excellence, a person of influence, because wisdom is the key to making right decision, right relationship decision. You know, a lot of people ended up in bad relationship. Bad relationship because they lack wisdom. Because they lack wisdom, they, they, they made bad financial decision. They made bad career decision. They made bad job decision. Because wisdom is the key to knowing the truth from what is not the truth. Because when you walk in wisdom, you see things that others don't see. You begin to have an experience that others can't come into because you're walking in wisdom. So it is important we begin to understand that wisdom is strategic that God has given to us. Wisdom is strategic because but with wisdom, you know what to do with ideas. With wisdom, you can come up with innovation concept, uh, ideas, things that will help you grow and become successful. So when God said to Abraham, he said, leave your father's house to a land, I will show you, he responded with an expectation that his future was connected to obedience. He made a decision with the word of God that he received. He made a decision. With the word of God he received, he made a decision. You see, God's word is given to you to live a life of greatness, a life of honor, a life of power, a life of dominion. The word of God is given to you. So because I have God's word, I have a bright future. And this is what God wants to do for you in this season. In this season, he wants to teach you his word. He wants to show you what his word can do for you concerning your job. Concerning your health, concerning your business, concerning your ministry, concerning your relationship, the word of God has the capacity to empower you to produce a fruitful life. It has the capacity. The word of God has the capacity to empower you to multiply, to increase, to excel, and to become a person of excellence. You're watching this broadcast today. And I'm here to say to you, you can make a difference from where you are. You can take the lead, you can become a person of distinction, a person of excellence, a person of great influence when you decide to respond to the wisdom of God. Wisdom will teach you what to say. You will be able to know what to say. What should I say concerning this situation? You know, sometimes we go be in a situation and we would talk, we know what to say, and we just started saying something that produced, that, that created more problems instead of we having... Uh, or having peace in the atmosphere, there was more problem because we approach the conversation from a you look at every situation from the perspective of the wisdom of God because the wisdom of God has the potential to accelerate your vision, to 
moving from one dimension to another because when you have wisdom, you have what it takes to make right decision. You have what it takes to produce right results because you have wisdom. Because you have wisdom, you can take the lead, you can make progress, and you can become effective. I believe there is a greatness in you I believe there is more to you than maybe the challenges you're going through right now. Maybe it's a financial challenge. Maybe it's a business challenge you're going through right now. There is a way out of this situation. And the wisdom of God is like a dinner bell that when it's being rung, everybody can hear it. So when we begin to apply the wisdom of God, it will lead to supernatural success. And that wisdom is the word of God. God's word is the wisdom of God. And the application of that word is what empowers us to move in the direction of distinction. The word of God is the wisdom of God. And with God's word, we can become more effective. We can become more productive. We can become more effective. We can become people of excellence with the knowledge of the word of God in other scripture established. In Colossians 3.16, it says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And because the word of Christ is so powerful, it has the ability to inspire. It has the ability to empower. And so when the word dwells in you richly, that word becomes your inspiration. It becomes your motivation. It becomes your your protection over the storms and the wind of life. Because in life, people could go through storms and affliction and adversity. But when they have the revelation of God's word, they can break forth and produce a God kind of result. So if you're watching this broadcast today, the wisdom of God is in your favor. And how do we unlock that wisdom? It's when we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. When we say, sweet Holy Spirit, I want you to have your way in my life, in my dream, in the things I do. And he will teach you how to be productive, how to be effective, how to increase and how to become a person of distinction. I believe that you can experience success. I believe that you Right now, there is a way out and victory belongs to you and you can be victorious. Glory be to God. It will be my joy today to tell you that you have all it takes to win if you can yield to the word of God. If you can yield yourself to God's word, if you can give yourself to the word of God, you have all it takes to win a life. If you're watching this broadcast today, and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, one of the greatest things that we could ever do with our life is to recognize the Lordship of Jesus. Because when we recognize His Lordship, He helps us. He empowers us. He changes our life. He strengthens us. So if you're watching this broadcast today, and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you want to receive Jesus into your life, And he can come in to heal you. He can come in to deliver you. He can come in to set you free. So if you want to receive him, you can say this with me. You can repeat this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray this prayer with me, it means you're born again and the Spirit of God is going to lead you from this day forward. Now, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Fateman Teachings on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel as you can listen to other teachings that can help you grow and develop in your work of faith. And also, you can Get my book on Amazon for the things you need to know about your future is available on Amazon.com for the things you need to know about your future is available on Amazon.com. And also you could watch me every day.
every minute on finishworktv.com. You know, I'm on Finish Work TV every day, 24-7, bringing the word of God to people around the world. This is what I do to teach the nations and disciple people to come into the wisdom of God as they can take the lead in the right direction. So you can watch me on finishworktv.com. Finish Work TV is a ministry on the cutting edge, helping people around the world to receive the engrafted word of God. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. If you're watching today and you want to partner with us, you want to connect with us in ministry and you want to know more about me, you can also cook up with me on Facebook. On Facebook, my official page is Apostle Faithman of Weather. That's my my page is called Faithman of Weather. So you can connect with us on Facebook. You can also connect with us on Finish Work TV by going there to send mails that maybe to reach out to us. So we want to hear from you. And we believe that God is going to change your life. The God is going to change your story. It's going to empower you to take the lead. We love you so much. Until my next broadcast, don't forget this. There is greatness in you. And Jesus is coming soon.